My name is Amanda Birding, and I work at Nestle Purina as a CNC lathe machinist. Back my first day at Rankin, I just remember walking in and seeing a bunch of guys and wondering like if I was going to get along with everybody, and halfway into the day, I felt like I was family already. I felt like I had like kind of a brotherhood because I was the only girl in my class so all of the guys in my class just kind of took me under their wing and I just had a big class of brothers and we still keep in touch so this you wouldn't think that a little two-year college would have that big of an impact on your life but Rankin those were literally the two best years that I've had <laughs> in my school experience I would never trade them for anything I walked into this place the first day and I just knew that I was supposed to be here. If you're passionate enough about something, you're going to walk into it and you're just going to know. So I knew when I came here that this was where I wanted to be. <laughs> Having the experience that I had at Rankin, it gave me the courage to go into the life that I wanted. Because growing up, I was going to be an architect. And growing up with cars, I just, I wanted to still be able to get my hands dirty and play in grease, but still draw up things. And I saw the CNC machines as an opportunity for me to get to program and work with precision tolerances. And I could still be creative and make a part with my name on it or make a car logo even. Or I grew up watching different automotive shows and watching them use water jets to make car parts that just that always stuck in the back of my mind but I never knew how to reach that goal and find a career for myself in that manner. Actually at Nestle I am a CNC lead programmer and operator so on a day-to-day -day basis I will get a packet with a print in it and a due date and I actually get to take the packet from the beginning, look at my part, and decide how I want to make the part, and then I go to the machine, I write my program, I set up the machine, and I finish it to the end, and I turn it in, and it's a very rewarding practice. Franken gave me the basics to jump out into my job. I would have never been able to walk into my first job and looked around at that shop and been excited about all the machines if Franken hadn't taught me what there was to be excited about. I mean, I remember walking into this place and just thinking, oh, what are they going to teach me to make on that? What are they going to teach me to make on that? And I was able to take that excitement and apply it to my first job. And by applying that to my first job, I kept advancing, I kept growing, and now I'm in a dream job where I hope to retire one day and I wouldn't have that if it weren't for Rankin. If you were like me, if you just couldn't see yourself sitting in a classroom for four years with no real goal at the end, then machining is a great you know, a great road to take. It really is. I couldn't express that more. It's the best time to get a job in the machining industry because, you know, the world can't get by without machinists. Everything is made by something that involved a machinist. So if you think about that and you think about all the places you could end up in this world, say you start out in St. Louis and you want to be in California, that could happen very easily with the help of a school like Rankin because you're going to get your basics here and Rankin has such a great name that you're going to be able to use that and get into a job that is just exactly what you want because all these employers, they just, they want the best and if you can prove that you're the best, then they're going to fight for you. They're not just going to pass you by.